Hi, my name's Katie, and I'm an alcoholic. When I uh, first started drinking, it was about when I was 17 years old. When I start drinking, I can't stop. Got my first DUI when I was 22 years old. I was double fisting Long Island iced teas with a bunch of girlfriends. Thought I was having a good time. Uh, my boyfriend at the time was at another bar. When I was driving to the bar, I hit a wall, totaled the car, and got escorted uh, by ambulance to Abington Hospital. So when I got out of the hospital that night, and I went down to the kitchen table, and my mother, my father, and my sister were sitting there, and I said, hey, I reached out to AA. I'm going to go to an AA meeting tonight. I, I, I think I might have a drinking problem. Uh, my father said, you know, that's great, Katie, but you're going to treatment today. I completed the program, and I need to be real honest about this, that in my heart of hearts, if I was going to be like 100% authentic, I did not want to be an alcoholic, and I didn't think I was an alcoholic, but I had to go through the motions because my dad was going to be riding me. Uh, things were going really well. I married the uh, gentleman that I met in the bar. Uh, we bought our first house. I got pregnant with triplets. Uh, I had about uh, 10 years sober at that time. And one thing that I was very proud of for a very long time was that my children never saw me drunk. And uh, when they were 10 years old, I picked up and I relapsed. I got a DUI um, when I was 40 years old. I got two other DUIs, um, so that would be a total of four DUIs. So I'm looking at a year of mandatory jail, and I'm also looking at 10 years I'm going to lose my license. I might as well kill myself because I can't get so I can't stop drinking. I can't get sober, and I'm destroying my kids. I truly believe God put somebody in my life, and I was in a very dark place with the solution of wanting to kill myself, and this person came over, and I was so beaten down, because I was the girl that always used to go back to AA and put my hand up and say, I'm Katie, I'm an alcoholic, I drank again. I'm Katie, I'm an alcoholic, and I drank again. And even people in AA, I think, were getting like a little tired of it. And uh, this person said to me, you know what, Katie? I'm exactly like you, and you're okay. And I didn't feel okay in my head. I felt crazy. And they offered me a different way. And as soon as they said, you're okay, and I knew them very well, I believed them. And it gave me a little hope, a hope I hadn't had for years. And uh, I started a new process, and I got into the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, and it was my game changer, and I'm so grateful for that. I had a great opportunity to meet uh, Brian O'Neill. I met with him, and I told him a little bit about my story and, and my professional experience in working in the trenches. So one of the projects that I was assigned to was helping to build and launch the Mission Center at Recovery Centers of America. I had a lot of experience working in the industry and in the trenches, so I understand the people that we need. My daily thing and, and the recurring thing that goes through my head every day is how can I be of maximum service to others in all areas of my life, not just in my recovery. The gift that recovery has given me and my sobriety has given me is that I'm free and I'm at peace and I'm genuine, I'm authentic. I have flaws, I've made mistakes and I have an opportunity to take my story and my pain and what I've been through and offer that to give someone else hope. I know that there's thousands of women sitting today struggling and feeling the same way that I felt, alone, helpless, desperate. I can't do this anymore. And what I can tell you is that you can, and there's help out there for you. It takes a great amount of courage to say, I need help. But I am telling you the benefits that you can receive from getting the help you need outweigh everything. I can tell you that uh, when you take a risk, 
and you let your guard down and you say, drinking's my problem, we can offer you a solution. We can offer you the support. We can offer you the tools. And you can get and gain all the rewards in recovery. And the rewards aren't material. The rewards are being free, being at peace, being present, forgiving yourself, not living in shame, not living in the bondage of self. You are not alone. If you have a parent that's drinking or doing drugs and you're scared, or if you are a parent and your life's falling apart, call 1-800-RECOVERY. We can help you. We can rebuild your whole family.